two, one. Whoa. Well, <laughs> these are all the parts I'm going to use to build my double barrel potato cannon. And uh, most of these you can find at your hardware store. They're just some uh, ABS tubes and fittings. Uh, the only thing you that, that you might have a bit of trouble with is this um, ABS shutoff valve. And uh, what it's meant to do is it will separate the two combustion chambers so you can shoot both at a time or just one at a time if you'd like. Here I have all the parts laid out and basically every potato cannon is similar, uh, which is you need a combustion chamber. I just used uh, one foot of four inch ABS for this. Uh, you're gonna need a reduction, uh, a curve, somewhere to spray the hairspray in, and something to separate the two combustion chambers with. As well as you will need a um, another reduction for the barrel. So the bottom section is all ready for gluing, and I will be using this uh, yellow ABS glue. And um, for some reason it says on the label not to smoke this, and I'm not sure why you want to smoke it since it's flammable and poisonous. But yeah. All right, now that we got those done, we can move on to the combustion chamber and the barrel. I feel like I've done enough talking already, but pretty much every part except for the barrel uh, is bonded to another part. So now we can start uh, gluing the big parts together. Pro tip, glue the two barrels last, a uh, second last actually, sorry, uh, and glue the combustion chambers together last. The barrels so they will dry like correctly and all straight because they sometimes get a little bit curvy. Uh, and glue the combustion chambers together um, very last because then you can change the like um, what do you call it the pitch of one of the combustion chambers so the two barrels shoot the same direction extremely high-tech drying rack I <laughs> know in all seriousness it just um, honestly just a place to rest your potato cans I just rested against my vice um, yeah, so you're just trying to get it, the combustion chamber right over the barrel, so the barrel glue sets properly, and uh, the barrel's nice and straight. Since ABS glue takes a little while to dry correctly, and you really don't want a squiggly barrel, uh, you go do something, or either that or you can wait here, but if you do, you probably should have some emotional support. Hello. Alright, now for time for the final and most important glue. Uh, now you really gotta try to make sure that your barrels are level, so just prop the barrels up on a piece of wood, and then uh, make the final glue. And it's done! Or not quite yet, we just have to put a sparker in it, uh, and then we'll be able to, uh, we'll be able to shoot. The only thing I don't like about potato cans is their smell. They stink. Like, if you could smell this phone, like, it would, it would reek. All you gotta do to get the spark inside the chamber is drill a screw and hot glue a wire going uh, into the chamber with a little bit of distance between each other. Uh, now that will let the spark jump the gap and ignite the propellant. You might be wondering why I have two terminals for the spark. Well that's because I'll be able to close this valve and just shoot this one and just shoot this one, or I'll be able to open it and use this and shoot them both at the same time. Uh, sorry for skipping ahead so much, but I've actually never designed a double barrel potato cannon firing system before. Uh, so um, a few things I tried that didn't work for out very well was uh, turns out a spark plug isn't wide, or the spark gap of a spark plug isn't wide enough to uh, ignite the hairspray, no matter what power source I use. Um, and uh, the barbecue igniters that I was trying to use uh, aren't quite, um, uh, they don't quite give enough of an oomph. So I've switched to this boost converter, which I got off Amazon, and that takes about uh, 3 volts and outputs about uh, 10,000 volts to 20,000 volts. Um, and how I pick which spark gap, either this one or this one to use, is I put this uh, door locker here, and I can select just the right barrel, um, or both the barrels, uh, or just the left barrel. Uh, and um, yeah, you gotta make sure there's a bit of a spark gap there so it doesn't arc over. Um, and yeah, I'll have a circuit diagram, uh, probably in the description. All right, well, let's see some sparks. Um, so I'm gonna select both barrels, so uh, it'll fire this one. Um, and I have a switch built into my battery bank. You probably have to wire in a switch of your own. But uh, here you go. That 
it works pretty well. So just a word of caution, these are open high voltage circuits, like, so if you were to touch them while it's on, just, just don't touch them while it's on. So, um, yeah, just be careful with All that. Alright, so I'm gonna test fire my total barrel potato cannon. Alright, now, we, uh, open the valve, uh, select both. Alright, then uh, set up the trajectory. And ready? Three, two, one. Whoa! Well. <laughs> okay. Alright, so I designed this potato cannon for it to be shoot two at a time or just one at a time. So I'm gonna close the cylinder, switch it on to just the right barrel. Ready? Three, two, one. There we go. Uh -huh. And then switch it on to just the left barrel. Three, two, one. Wow. And you get two shots out of one cannon. Two, one. Woo! Ready. Uh, all the parts lists are down in the description, and uh, make sure you have uh, supervision or you're really careful when you're uh, making this, because this is technically a cannon.